The Sun Queen grows old. Soon she will choose her successor. I fear it will be me. I am now her favorite. She dotes on me, calls me her precious first daughter. Like a doll, she always keeps me close to her, brushing my hair, dressing me in her favorite clothes. It unsettles me beyond words, but more disturbing, she constantly gazes upon my features as if, as if she's looking at her own reflection. Tearing it apart. Is this? What the hell are they using them for? It doesn't matter. They put in the orders, we fill. No questions asked. But we already shipped up all those portables last week. Are they powering fucking stadium lights? You should be quiet, but don't talk like this. Need backup!
The base has been attacked by unknown assailants. We suspect the Americans have arrived and are attempting to sabotage our operations. Communications have been disrupted across the island, and we've sustained heavy losses. Many of our soldiers have simply disappeared. All remaining personnel are proceeding to the ancient monastery to ensure control of the weather phenomenon. We expect to meet heavy resistance en route. Request reinforcements as soon as possible.
The date reads May J6, which is 1873. One side is worn down, as if it was rubbed repeatedly. Maybe this was a soldier's good luck coin.
Lara's totally right. Something seriously fucked up is going on here. The natural phenomenon that causes the weather to go apeshit, a military research base, some kind of sun queen, and a crazy cult. I mean, if I didn't know better, I'd say this is a big put on. Are there TV cameras hidden in the trees? I mean, you know, I, I gotta admit, it's scaring the shit out of me. I, I keep cracking jokes to cover it up. Reyes looks ready to kick my ass. I think I need to do something useful before I completely lose it. I wish I could be more like Lara. She just... She blows me away. Not only is she brilliant, but she's also an amazing ass kicker. Now, if she didn't notice me before, she sure as hell won't now. But maybe I can still do something to get her attention. to read the date, but Japan made thousands of these in the mid-1800s.
some level, I have Laura to thank for this job. She's always believed in me. The academics at college dismiss filmmaking as nonsense. They just saw me as this ditzy American troublemaker with the camera. But you know what? Most people can use a little trouble in their lives. And deep down, I know Laura just wanted to cut loose sometimes. She just needed a little help unlocking her inner party girl. We had so many awesome adventures together. That insane backpacking trip through Bulgaria. <laughs> I was always dragging her out to clubs. And the hiking trip on the south face of Kilimanjaro. All Laura wanted to do was explore ruins. <laughs> but who knew we'd run into so many cute guys? Certainly not Laura. <laughs> I have a feeling this expedition is going to be one for the books. Lara with her notebook, me with my camera, another crazy adventure. <laughs>